All right, let's take a look at market profile. So we talked about this morning on how we can see when market profile sets the edges in this market to find out when big breakouts and momentum trades can possibly happen. Right now we have a long side setup right here on a momentum trade. This is a smaller Rinko bar. This is called a tweezer Momo. We love those trade setups. That's a 113.13 off our uni. That's called a tweezer Momo. Extreme, I'm sorry, extreme tweezer Momo. Okay, let's go over that trade. What comprises a extreme tweezer Momo? The prices are exploding right now from it. We anticipated this happening. We talked about it for about 15 minutes before this even broke out. And I'll tell you how I anticipated this happening and these buy stops being hit and how these algorithms work. Let me get this up here first real quick. There we go. So this is a tweezer extreme Momo. So the fill, the high of that bar, plus or minus a couple ticks, 40.72, we're already at 82. That's 10 S&P points with 40 ticks of potential already just off of one setup right there on the breakout. This is what's called an extreme tweezer Momo because the oscillator below, when the arrow fires on this new update, here's another Momo, but that's just a regular Momo. This is a regular Momo, not an extreme tweezer. I'll tell you why. <clears throat> That's a Momo because Extreme Tweezer says this. If my oscillator does not go below 20, then I'm, and when this arrow fires with the trend of my zone, zone trend is green. When the arrow fires, if my oscillator is at least above 20, the green line, it's a momentum trade. However, if it's above 80, and the arrow fires, then that's called an extreme Momo because I'm above 80, the market is what? The market is getting marked up. Typically when this happens, buy stops from these algorithms are getting hit. And we went over this this morning, I'm gonna explain market profile to you in a second. Okay guys, target's 82 right here on the weekly chart that is hitting the 50 moving average on the weekly chart right now, 82. Heads up. 4,100 is the major distribution area on the market. 4,082 is a weekly 50 right now. So heads up. You may see a reaction off this level. So anyway, extreme tweezer Momo. That means you get the Momo. You have momentum in the market that pushes this market. So the fill when this arrow happened would be 72 and a quarter and again as high as 82. So you're talking almost 40 ticks of potential on this trade with a small stop because your stop is resting just below this arrow. This is a 113.13 chart. It's a smaller Rinko. So you have a very small stop. Your, your stop should be a few ticks outside of the Rinko size. Some traders like to go all the way to 18 on a 13 uni. 16 is suffice if you want to do 16 or, or even 15 suffice. Okay. So you had a 15 tick stop on a 40 tick move that just happened on our extreme tweezer Momo. Now why do I call it tweezer? Because when I get two dojis that are back to back, when there's two dojis back to back and the arrow fires and I'm above at least 20, then I am looking for a blow off rally. Now, why did we anticipate this happening? I said, look for momentum trades. This happens this morning. Here's our market profile over here to the right. All right, like I educate traders, market profiles work since 1985. Thank you, Peter Stoudemire. One of the best indicators out there. Because what it does, it leaves the roadmap of about accumulation distribution. This is accumulation distribution. When you are in between profile, when you're between high value, I'm sorry, high value here, which is red, the thick red line is volume profile, high value there, you can see a stop right on my price profile this morning, right to almost the tick, and went right back down to low value. Look at my low value, all the accumulation. Stop right at the low. Stop, stopped it, stopped it, stopped it. So that's low value. The red is high value. So high value means this. Is these algorithms 
banks, hedges, and so on have buy stops above the high value and they have sell stops below the low value. So if my price is in between, meaning the body of the candle is in between high value and low value, then I have what's called accumulation distribution going in the market. That means the market is going to ping pong. It's going to come up and it's going to go down in between value until we break out. It's going to ping pong in between price. Now I leave this chart. We actually have traders that, uh, that lease our software only for our profile. We've had a hedge fund that actually tried to buy out our profile. They offer us a pretty good penny for it. And this is what, five years ago, Gerald? Four years ago? Strictly for our profile. Our profile is extremely accurate on looking at accumulation distribution. All right? That's why we don't give our profile away. Our profile is not the standard 30-minute market profile. It tells us the roadmap going forward. It lets us know if where there's accumulation distribution, but then once we get outside of accumulation, the HVA high value area, I was telling traders this morning, we got nothing above us until 82. So from 68 to 82, I have nothing above us. No resistance at all because I'm outside of value. Because what sets the high value, the red and the thick green, is this control point, the POC. And the point of control is the accumulation distribution. It takes, it's the most volume is traded in that instrument for the day. So how I program the market profile then is I program it to look at the accumulation distribution during the day off a larger time frame, and I have it giving us these HVA levels and these low value levels to set the edge. Now we set the edge in the market. So if you want runners to run and you want momentum in any market, you better be outside a profile. If you, because what happens is, is that all these commercials, these banks, these hedgies, these professional traders, they all leave their footprint on profile. This is not my opinion. This is not your opinion. This is the actual internals of the market. So when you get these momentum trades that happen on my algo over here, this arrow that fires, your best momentum trades by far are going to happen outside of value. Because outside of value, you're not in chop. Because when you're in between low value and high value, you're in an accumulation distribution market. And when you're in an accumulation distribution market, then the market likes to do what? It likes to ping pong back and forth until it breaks out and then you get the buy stops and then you get my target here this morning was 82 and look where it stopped at 82 I missed it by a quarter point I missed it by a quarter point yesterday on my target right I said my target on that short was 35 and a half the lowest 35 and a quarter and it took right off how did I do that how did I do that when I'm way way down here at 68 and I target 82 because I know that if I have nothing above value to stop me and these buy stops are going to kick in, then I look for weekly and daily resistance. My weekly resistance was the 50-day MA right at 82. My major resistance at 4,100. Yesterday, my low value area set the edge. It was at 35 and a, and a half. The low of that move was 35 and a quarter and exploded to the upside. Just by looking at market profile. So what you can do is, is you can learn to trade breakouts with momentum trades where the algo automatically fires. I mean, that's a nice trade setup. That's 72 to 82, I mean 83, that's over 10 points of potential, 10 points of potential off of knowing where the buy stops were in the market. And knowing where my target is at 82, now it's at 76. Look at it come off my target. Sorry, I missed the top by two ticks. That's just knowing price action, guys. Now my overall target is going to be 4,100. If it breaks 82, we're shooting for 4,100. 
that's where our target is.